Many settings and accessibility functions and features exist on Chromebooks. In this series, we're going to dive into how they can support student learning. The on-screen keyboard is another accessibility feature on a Chromebook that can really provide additional and differentiated support for students and other users. So let's take a look at some of the functions and the features that this on-screen keyboard provides. So to begin with, we want our on-screen keyboard to become an accessibility feature like the others that we've explored in other videos. So we wanna head down to this area down here near the clock and click to open up our system menu. Then we wanna choose accessibility right here. Remember that if you don't have accessibility as an option in your system menu, you can learn how to do that by heading to one of our earlier videos. So now I'm gonna come on down to where it says on-screen keyboard, and I'm going to click on that. When I do that, two things happen. One, I get a check mark here inside of a circle that indicates that it's kind of turned on, and an icon appears down here in the shelf. So now that we have it kind of activated, let's open up a Chrome window and take a look at what it looks like to use it. So what we can do is we can click on it. And as we do, you can see that it appears just like its name. It's on the screen and it's a keyboard. Now in the bottom right of it, you'll see a keyboard icon with kind of a little down arrow. If we click that, that's how we get rid of it. That's how it goes away. So if we're gonna teach our students to use it, we need to make sure that they understand how to turn it on and turn it off. So now just a couple other things to mention. There are some icons across the top here to be aware of. Um, this one is the clipboard. So if you've done some copying of text, you'll find those entries there. This is the handwrite option. So with a touchpad or a mouse, <clears throat> this is kind of difficult, but what you can do is actually you know write something in here and then it will change it over to being actual text so let me actually minimize this for a second come in and click on it so that i've got a blinking cursor and i'll open this back up and show that to you again so now that i've kind of um activated it and my cursor is going now as i as i hand write you can see that it's typing these letters. So this works really well for little guys who maybe aren't um, able to find the letters on the keyboard. Um, additionally, if you have a touchscreen keyboard, or I'm sorry, a touchscreen Chromebook, it works out really well. So I can actually just write my name here and you can see that it is typing up here in this box. So that's a nice feature as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close that up and then choose this button right here. So this is where the handwrite um, icon was, and now it's become a keyboard because it's a toggle switch of sorts. So I can click on this, and now it's gonna take me back to being the full keyboard, okay? So at this point, now let's take a look at this option here. This option actually takes the entire keyboard and makes it smaller and puts it in the right hand corner here. Now, if you follow my mouse down to the bottom right here, you'll see that it can be clicked on and moved around, okay? So I am able to do that as well. So one of the nice things about this as well is that there is an option to swipe. So swipe means to put our finger on the keyboard and move it around and spell words. So for example, this, okay? And then I could do the space, is a, Different, oh, that one didn't work and I have to delete that. Let's try different again, different. Okay, so way to, oops, that didn't quite work either. Get rid of that T-O-P, to type. Okay, so that's just another way to input language and some students might utilize that swiping feature on a mobile device like a cell phone. Um, and so that might be something that would be helpful for them as well. And then lastly, if I go ahead and make this large again, um, we do have a settings gear here, which will let you get into more of the settings and you can play with languages and things like that. And then there is also the speech to text option that is here as well, just like you would find on a phone. And when you click on it, you can dictate and it will transcribe what you say, period.
So lots of different features and functions that are available here in this on-screen keyboard that can help differentiate and support our students. Thank you.